Next, let's look at page 55 and talk about state versus goal. One way of thinking about any kind of change is to regard it as a movement from the present state, so how things are now, to a desired state, as in how you want things to be. In order to get from the present to the desired state, we might need to apply some resources. These can be new beliefs, new actions, evoking positive emotions, money, or new physical environment. Anything that will actually bring about the desired change. It's important, though, to be clear about what the desired state is and what we really want. Some people in NLP refer to the present state as being a problem state. And, you know, maybe that's because NLP traditionally has been seen as coming from therapy. Remember that there will also be resources available in the present state as well. And that resource memories and strategies available from the past can also be useful for the future. In moving from the present state to the desired state, people often get confused between what is a state and what is a goal. And it's important to distinguish between the two. In a person, a state is that gestalt of thoughts and feelings and physical processes where a goal or outcome is something that one moves towards and gets as a result of actions. So if we look at what a state or a value is, example, I'm happy, whereas a goal is something that I'm going to achieve, example, I want to make $100,000. A state can be stated ambiguously, like I want to be happy. Sure, it's quite ambiguous because what is happy? Whereas a goal has got to be very specific. So $100,000, a million pounds. With states, we can write affirmations. Like every day in every way, I'm feeling better and better. Whereas with a goal, I'm actually writing the goal. I'm writing the outcome. Remember, we looked at how smart goals should be written. The thing is with states is you can actually have it now. Whereas with a goal, there's going to be time involved. So there's going to be steps involved to achieve the goal. Certain things that need to happen. And then you'll be able to measure it at the end to see whether or not you've achieved it. Whereas with the state, like I said, you can have it right now and there's actually no steps involved and it can be infinite. So if you want to feel happy, just feel happy. In fact, we'll, we'll look when we do anchoring how you can control your state. In one way of doing that is through anchoring. So even when I'm feeling a little bit blah, I can still fire my resource anchor and I can then feel happy. Now, of course, there will be some times when maybe I'm not feeling quite as happy because something has happened. However, if I choose to, I can choose to feel that state of happy again. And so there's no steps really involved to achieve that. And it can be infinite because I can do it all the time. Now, a state or value can be for self or for others. Whereas a goal really should be for yourself. If we stating a goal for other people, then you know what, we're probably not going to be putting in so much effort. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. And so really the goal should be for self. Whereas with a value or a state, it can be for others. And it can be with others. So in our relationship, we want to have love. In our relationship, we want to have mutual respect. And so that's the difference between a state and a goal. And I think it's important to understand the differences, to know which is a state and which is a goal. Because sometimes people get a little confused with it.